Imagine for a second that you are 12 years old. PlayStation finally decides to create a new handheld after the insane success of their first handheld, the PSP. They showcase these really crazy great looking games, a portable Uncharted game, a real deal little big planet game, Wipeout looks like it's an actual PS3 game, and then there's this strange, weird looking game with all of these recognizable games. Fast forward a bit, and after a year since the now named PS Vita has been released in a strange state, you finally have saved up all the birthday and holiday money to just go all out with the PS Vita. Yes, that was, that was me. I'm sure you're very shocked right now. But anyways, I had finally gotten it, the newest PlayStation handheld. At the time, however, I didn't really have a lot of money, as I'm sure you could tell since I dumped it all on the system. Uh, but I convinced my parents to get me Little Big Planet along with a memory card and also let me uh, get games that were under my dad's account since he had PlayStation Plus so you know I could download a bunch of games for free. So besides Little Big Planet, I of course decide to download Uncharted because it's Uncharted, yes, um, as you know well as the Wipeout game that was you know, new at the time. <laughs> but I also decided to download that strange comic book looking game, Gravity Rush. I apologize for how long this intro is, but especially with what has been happening recently, um, I felt like I, I should have some more retrospect on this whole thing. Also, talking about Gravity Rush is a lot more difficult, I feel, than the previous series that I've talked about on, on this uh, channel. <laughs> they all either got their rightful attention with, you know, many people wanting said series to return after so long, you know, or that series had at least three games for, you know, its entire run. Um, Gravity Rush, though, it's in a, a strange place because while it's known, for sure, by a decent amount of people, it hasn't really been played by a lot of people, making it probably the most underrated series we have talked about so far. But dude, when I tell you that Gravity Rush is really good, I genuinely mean it. Like, Gravity, Gravity Rush, Rush is, is really, really good. good. Like many others, when I first played Gravity Rush on my Vita, uh, I didn't think much of it at the time. I mean, it had unique mechanics and a really great main character, um, but the plot was very hard to understand or talk about. Like, if you've played the game, you know what I'm I'm saying, but like, if you haven't, I, I, ha I literally have no idea how I could try and explain the plot. It's pretty wacky. Uh, like it goes into time travel shenanigans and Kat kind of just jumps through different periods of time. Uh, anyways, let's just d dive into it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Gravity Rush 1 is super fun. In a weird way, it reminds me of a bunch of other nostalgic superhero type of games I used to play a lot. Like especially on the PS2 and PS3 for some reason. Like, it shares a lot of similar mechanics to games like Infamous, and the many different Spider-Man games, Batman games, etc. <laughs> and that's due to Gravity Rush having an open world gameplay structure along with having those, you know, upgradable power-up branch technique thing mabob that it seems like it's just required in literally every single superhero game now. Also, very random, but did you know that in both the PS Vita version and remastered version of this game, you can press the touch screen or touch pad on Cat and she'll turn around like you yourself actually poked her in real life. What makes Gravity Rush stand out on its own, though, is its style. It, it has a nice big mixture of so much artwork that works so well. It's just 
it's it's rad it's just rad <laughs> for example the characters themselves of course have very anime-ish type of look but the environment has a lot of european architecture and structure while the cutscenes are structured more like a comic book heck man a lot of the inspiration for this game was actually based on a real european artist um I'm, yeah and you you can really tell when you compare the two side by side all right on to the wacky kablamo so <laughs> Cat here has a bad case of amnesia. Maria! Who am I? But Cat isn't a Shadow the Hedgehog. She's actually a really fun character who's extremely optimistic and will literally help anybody, no matter how weird or kind of creepy they are. Like, seriously, what? But yeah, she, she reminds me a little bit of Spider-Man in a weird way due to her not only helping people with mundane tasks like, Hey, can you please be the stunt actress for this movie we are making? Yeah, okay. <laughs> and then like 10 seconds later, she's battling some kind of massive, creepy, Silent Hill looking demon creature. <laughs> yeah, so Gravity Rush 1 stood out a ton on the Vita, being incredibly memorable and charming in its own way. I mean, it even does this hilarious, like, old school video game tactic of not having actual voice acting and instead just creates an entirely new and made up language. The fake language that Kat and everyone speaks is actually a mixture of French and Japanese, and it actually sounds pretty cool and, and neat and, and real, like it sounds real. La suis machfe, et je crois plus à fichu de wansi. La juju de plein chabiment de la sa pense chaffe. De plaisir ma loyauté chaplain tout le savé. After the first game, Cat became actually pretty recognizable, actually, for a, a new PlayStation character. Um, this might have been because she got to appear at PlayStation All-Stars um, within, I think, the same exact year, which she's extremely fun to play as in that game. I would highly recommend if you have, like, I, I think it's like $5 or something to burn before Sony literally just des destroys my childhood. Spend it on Cat in uh, PlayStation All-Stars because she's so much fun. Look at this. Cat also got to appear in um, the legendary PlayStation All-Stars Island Coke Zero app which maybe I'll talk about that uh, one day as well. <laughs> but just know that Cat Sackboy is real and she will haunt your dreams just like Ratchet Sackboy. Besides that, I think the only other game she has appeared in was Hot Shots Golf on the Vita. So technically she could golf against Ratchet and Jack and I, I really love this uh, for literally no reason. After 2012, Every Vita fan was anticipating when the next Gravity Rush game would come. Um, it was, after all, one of, if not the best game you could get on the Vita. <laughs> Why eBay? Uh, so guess, guess how long it took for the second game? <laughs> Maybe two years? Three? No, five. Five years. <laughs> it took five long years <laughs> no i literally forgot about gravity rush entirely and uh then randomly sometime in 2016 the, the time where my heart was crushed through disappointment sony randomly just threw out a oh here you go gravity the rush remastered uh, like i don't know why this is bugging me years later but still man like 
What? No one even talked about it. No one, literally no one talked about it. No one bought it either, which is why the physical copies for both of these games are absolutely insane. What is wrong with you? Gravity Rush 2 released on the PlayStation 4, which sort of sucked, but in the end, I think it was best that it released there because, you know, of all the new stuff they could actually put into the game. After all, the first game is a handheld game, and I think it's pretty obvious if you play it on PS4 that it was very much so a handheld game. <laughs> the second game, though, dude, they went all out. You know, new mechanics, a new gigantic world to explore, new outfits. Uh, they even had an online component where you could play against other people to hide and find this giant apple thing. Which, can I just say, Nintendo clearly copied through Mario Odyssey. But yeah, that sadly didn't last long um, because, you know, who bought Gravity Rush 2 legit lasted like like a, like a little over a year. <laughs> Can you hear my soul being crushed? But yeah, Gravity Rush 2 was fantastic and, and great and uh, uh, oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> so, um, Gravity Rush 2 released in January. And I'm really sorry to the Nexus Club members, that is your name now, audience, who are born in January, but that is literally the worst month to release anything. <laughs> That's the month where all the crappy horror movies and usually video games go to die. <laughs> so, um, Sony, I just, I want to talk. For real, could they have not th th released Gravity Rush 2 just in the next year or, or later than January? Because I don't know if you guys know this, but 2017 was an insane year for video games. This year alone, we got Horizon Zero Dawn, Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, Crash Bandicoot literally got resurrected. I'm pretty sure we got the Resident Evil 7 game this year as well. Mario Odyssey and even Sonic. Sonic got an amazing game. Sony. Why? Sorry for uh, the rant there, but that's actually why I played Crafty Rush 2 like an entire year later in 2018. It was literally on our family's coffee table desk thing, uh, brand new, for a whole year, and then I was like, okay, I want to rush the gravity again. And man, this game is so good. I probably will never stop praising this game. <laughs> it genuinely feels like it... It should have been with that PS3 and Vita era. Like, Gravity Rush 2 is that type of sequel that it's pretty much at that same level of like Infamous 2 or Little Big Planet 2, which I know is kind of saying a lot, but it's just, it literally improves on everything the original was going for, but just does it so much better. Um, you know, again, there's the new gravity mechanics that you can use, which with the touchpad on the PS4 controller, where you can actually change the gravity for Cat and making her lighter or heavier. Um, oh, a game that actually used the touchpad, what? Uh, and it's really like a neat mechanic. I'm, I wish more games, you know, on the PS4 used the touchpad somehow, I don't know. Um, the, the game also resolves the cliffhanger that they just kind of threw at you randomly in the original game. So, you know, luckily we kind we actually know why Cat got amnesia and all that jazz. Uh, again, play the game to find out. <laughs> but man, this series is really great. <laughs> and I feel like even if you can't get the original game, please, 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 please do yourself a favor and at the very least, get the second game. Uh, it has so much creativity and charm. Um, and the ending of Gravity Rush 2 actually made me tear up, like, it, <laughs> which it was surprising. It was surprisingly emotional for me. I don't know. I was not expecting it. Uh, hit me in the gut. Hit me in the gut. Oh, um, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> in the end, um, I would like to stay optimistic for Gravity Rush, um, because while it is niche, um, I do think it deserves more attention and at least one more game. Um, or at the very bare minimum, like, j just make a collection 
of, of these two games to, to bring back on the PS5, but considering how everything has been handled with Japan Studios, and actually recently today, um, with the news of what could be a Last of Us remake, it's just, why, why? <laughs> it, the whole thing's depressing, but, um, you know, I don't even know. Um, but, you know, my favorite game from Japan Studios was the Gravity Rush games, because they, the more time I felt like you played them, you, you started to understand and appreciate and love both of them more, you know? So here's hoping that possibly one day, and it, maybe, <laughs> maybe I'm just too optimistic, maybe we will see the Gravity Queen return. Quickly, before I forget, since it's getting harder to find the original Gravity Rush physically for both the Vita and for the PlayStation 4, I'd highly suggest you guys get these games digitally. They do go on sale sometimes. Um, they aren't very difficult to get digitally. Gravity Rush 2 is also not too difficult to get a hold of, so if you are even sort of interested, I'd say get that. Um, but yeah. <laughs> hey, Nexus Club! Uh, thanks for checking out this video. I'm, I'm glad that others also have a love for this series and many other series, of course, I've talked about. Um, please leave a like and comment about how you feel about this series and maybe what other things you'd like to see me cover. So, you know, peace out.